That's not how that works. Look here, let me explain something to you. I've been out here in this same world for 31 years serving the people. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And the same thing I just got to tell you all is what I used to tell my son and daughter. If the police stop you, you respect the police. Exactly. If police, listen, stay with me. If you have a problem, you bring it home to me. And I'll deal with it. But guess what, sir? Hold on, hold My on. My son can bring it home hold to on, me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you got to stay with me. Because you see, my son had a problem. And he told me, he said, Dad, they threw me on the car. They threw my ideas up on the ground. I said, who? He said, the two officers that had me on the car. I got up, put my clothes on, and went to the station and told the supervisor, call him in. You see, I don't stand for wrong. I don't care whether you in the care police, county, state, FBI, whoever. Listen, listen to me. If you line 20 of us up right now in this uniform, it does not mean that all 20 going to have the same heart. I want you to understand something this morning, young lady. Don't look at the uniform. But they got the same Wait, pledge. listen to me. No, listen to me now. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you look at this uniform, don't look at the uniform. Look at the man behind the uniform. Because, listen, the God that I serve, he's not going to judge my uniform, but he's going to judge my heart. Now, now, hold it now. The Bible says, you go and read Matthew 7, the 7th chapter, somewhere in Matthew Seven chapter, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called a child of God. I wish all of you all could have been at church last Sunday to hear the sermon that I gave, because I gave invitations to all of the, all, not all, but most of the youth out at Word High School, because I want my young people to come on in and understand that you can still come in even when you make a mistake. You gotta understand, young lady, everybody ain't gonna do right. Whether it be the police, whether it be the preacher, whether it be the teacher, whether it be the man that work in the mill. I gave you that still 30 years. And with them 30 years, I still stayed with the police department and still raised my two. And they both turned out to be good citizens. So don't, don't judge my uniform. Judge the man behind the uniform. I know somebody's looking at this car and say, oh, that ain't go there. But my God, the God that I serve, I'm talking about the God that I serve. Don't judge me because I work over here, but judge me according to my work down here. Got to get you to get to talk to the uh, you, know, you, you don't know who I've been talking to. You, 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 you know what? All you're doing is you care an attitude, but you're not understanding. You get to humble yourself. Humble yourself. Are you saying something? The way you talk about you're saying that you're a part of your life, you're a mother of a dead boy, and you want to talk about being humble. Okay, who were you talking to? Are you saying that right there? No, no, no. You said you don't know who you I've been talking to. Who have you been talking to? Maybe I give all these officers going to be an invite to come in because let me tell you something. Everybody that, that wears a badge and wears a gun need to have a relationship with God. Right. Because let me tell you something. It's not the badge nor the gun that's protecting me, but it's the God that I serve. I've looked down the dog barrel. I've been spit on. All that kind of stuff. I've been through all of that. But I still have a heart for the people. Okay. So, with this being said, would you tell Justin Hedrick to turn himself in? Because he know him. he killed my son. Look, look, he know look, he look. murdered my child. Oh, good. Listen, listen, um, listen. He, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could I get a chance to speak Go just ahead. one time? Go ahead. Okay. He know he murdered my child in cold blood. Okay. Um, if he didn't, they wouldn't be hiding footage. They wouldn't say, oh yeah, your son was caught on a blind side and I'm standing in a spot where my son blood pour all over the ground and looking at two cameras. Guess what? They wouldn't say, oh yeah, oh well, I forgot. The footage didn't work back to back. Those are lies. But guess what? I feel like this. Bernard Carter made a statement. 
He did say it was nobody higher than him. And I cried. I thought about it. I said, you know what? Yes, Bernard Carter in front of um, Detective Reggie Sanders and Robert McConnell. He made the statement, nobody is higher than him. And when I went home and finished crying about that statement, guess what I said? I found two people that was hiding him, and they named him God and Jesus. So guess what? Right. I'm going to sit, That's I'm going right. to pray, I'm going right. I'm, I'm to pray every night that God make them release that footage. And I guess, and, and, and this is what else I want. I want God to do this too for me. I want him to fire Justin Hedrick. I want Justin Hedrick to go to jail like any other criminal that's out here thinking you can just shoot somebody down. I want the police officers who helped him lie. I want their jobs taken away and them in jail as well. I want Bernard Carter, Barbara McConnell, uh, the what's the investigator, Reggie Sanders. I want the mayor. I want all of them to lose their job behind this because you know why? Because you allowing corruption in your city. See, I told my child, if you need help, run to him. I don't care if you made it, you doing it, or it's following you. Run to him, because he going to help you. Now, if you doing wrong, you must admit, you know you're going to do your time. And me as mama, I'm going to make sure you do your time, because I don't condone. I don't condone in negativity. Okay, now listen, listen to this. You get back, you don't get away. Yeah. I want you to keep that, remember that. You get back, but you don't get away. Because see, there's a God that sees all. And at his appointed time, whether you're right or whether you wrong, you're going to give an account. You get by, but you don't get away. And I know I'm right about it. I know I'm right about it. When I look at that dog world. So this tent is going to go a little something like this. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Justin Hedrick's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Justin Hedrick's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, 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 Justin Hedrick's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, 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 Justin Hedrick's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, 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 Justin to be adults and like he should have got a chance to say what he needed to say. He should have been in the court. He should have pleaded what he wanted to plead. I mean I'd rather him to be like behind bars than dead. Like this <laughs> is crazy. But he was a good person. He played basketball. He know how to draw real good. <laughs> he very funny. <laughs> he was a Thank you. Oh, yeah, football yeah. and baseball. Okay. <laughs> he was very talented. Oh, yeah. Boxing, too. You name it, he did it all. Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Protector over his family. Friends, too. <laughs> and he a loving person, like, if you get to know him. He'll show you that he not a cruel kid. Like, this one need to be in his mindset. It's just people around you influence you to do bad things when they don't want to see you doing good. So 
This right here is Beans. This is his best friend. Um, he and Beans have been playing around for like the longest time. So like I will give them hard times. When they come, mom, we want to go to the mall. Okay, Key, well, what was you and Beans doing after school? It's like five or six now. Oh, well, mom, we had to stop over there. They got some food over there at the building and we ate that. Okay, if y'all did all this, why didn't you just come home for we could go to the mall? So then him and Beans and them, they grew up, they played together, always in trouble. In, in the school, fighting in the bathroom, get, making Mr. Cherry give me calls. Okay. Then I get on y'all. I got on them every day. I got on all of them. They know as soon as that, that she go, she coming. Yes, I'm coming. I ain't getting on one of them, getting on everybody. And then they all be lined up in my car with their head up straight. And then the first thing he says, is, Mom hungry. <laughs> Mom hungry. I say, what you want, kid? Well, let's go to Papa's. Hey, you got I know, but mom hungry. <laughs> I know, but mom hungry. So I got to buy him something to eat, the friends something to eat. But in the end of the day, it didn't matter. It was all for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Of course, this one right here, this is my baby. I told Keith, if something ever happened, I'll be looking for him to show for life. Okay. What you wanna hear? 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 What you wanna feel? 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 Tell me what you want. What you really want? Tell me what you want. Answers, paperwork, and video, and all that, and never get it. And everybody's just cool with that. They just close the case however they want. When it uh, testimony conflicts with the witnesses, the witnesses are disregarded. You know what? Every day, white folks do shit and get taken into custody. And oh, <laughs> 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 and we never get that chance. A lot of times we don't. I think. So that's one of the reasons I'm glad everybody's out here today. Support the family. Black Lives Matter Gary stands with Tashina Brooks and demands answers regarding the death of her teenage son, Kamanti Cobb, at the hands of Gary Police, as well as the lack of transparency, accountability, and rigor in the alleged investigation of his death by the County Prosecutor's Office, Lake County Sheriff's Department, Gareth and Griffith Police Departments. It has been more than seven months since August 1st when Justin Hedrick, a Gary police officer attached to a K-9 unit, shot 15-year-old Kamani Cobbs in the head following a pursuit near the Concord Apartments. 
Kamanti died in the hospital the next day. Witness accounts of the incident conflicted with statements by police. The limited accounts provided by the multiple police departments involved also differ from each other and vital aspects of the killing, such as where, how, and with what justification it took place. In addition to shouldering the emotional weight of losing a child to violence, Kamanti's mother is still awaiting a full account of the circumstances of her son's death from police. Ms. Brooks has been disrespected and ignored throughout this process, in which police and other officials have made it clear that providing this information and ensuring justice for Kamanti's family are not priorities. In November, three months after the incident, Ms. Brooks filed a petition in court because she still hadn't received all the police reports and evidence video to verify what happened to her son. At the end of February 2018, the press reported that the Lake County prosecutor declared the, declared the shooting justified, even though these reports had still not be re been released. Why did the prosecutor dismiss a killing as justified when the victim's mother had not been given the evidence, the Lake County Sheriff Department had not released its findings, and reports from all officers and departments involved had not been made available? Black Lives Matter has before demonstrated that the status quo where cops investigate other cops withhold evidence and then clear one another of wrongdoing is a true disservice to the taxpayers and enables continually escalating abuses. This incident is yet another example of why we continue to demand an empowered independent civilian review board for Gary with the capacity to investigate and issue findings in police involved incidents. The punishment for the crime of which Kamati is accused is not death by public execution. Kamati was killed under suspicious circumstances without due process after a non-capital crime in which his involvement remains unclear. The officers of the court and the police have a duty to the public to be transparent about how this young person was killed. Withholding information and not providing a reasonable explanation for differences in limited accounts that have been provided is an injustice. Seven months after the death of Kamate, we stand with his family to honor his memory and expose the system of unaccountable police departments and prosecutors that impact black families. Today, we stand with Sheena Brooks and her family and demand the following. A release of all police reports about Kamati's death, the release of all video and audio recordings of the shooting, including the video from Concord Apartments, a public account of the shooting from Justin Hedrick, the Gary, the Gary officer who killed Kamate, and a new and independent investigation of the incident, pending the conclusion of which Hedrick and other officers involved be fired and or charged if found to have committed any wrongdoing in this